The next thing we're going to cover is upper body techniques. Before a wrestler starts to learn upper body techniques or practice upper body techniques, the first thing you have to learn is how to go back into a back arch bridge position. Okay, what we're talking about and the way that we can work on this thing is have your partner hold you up. You can step one foot between his legs, one foot out, or have both feet to the outside. But what we're working on is going back into a back arching position. What you want to try to do is get your hips elevated as high as possible. Anytime you're throwing the opposition, you're going to be carrying that man on your hips and chest. So again, one foot in, one foot out. And what you're working on is arching your hips up in the air, and you're going to look back over your head and see if you can see the mat on your way down. We're going to go right on to the top of our heads. Okay, from here, you bend your knees, you pop your hips up, hips up high, and go back into a back bridge position. Okay? That's the type of thing that you want to work on before you start doing throwing techniques or working on upper body techniques. Again, we have one foot in, one foot out. Your partner holds you up. And you can practice this slow or you can speed it up a little bit. But the key thing we want to concentrate on is use of the hips. You want to elevate your hips as high as possible as you start to go back. Okay, so from here, we're going to pop the hips up, we're going to look back over the head and go right to the top of your head. Here, just like that. And you want to practice that as many times as it takes for you to feel comfortable going back into a back bridge position. Once you've learned how to do that, you can try it without a partner. The key thing in doing it without a partner is to take your time and make sure that you don't get hurt. Here's an easy way to do it. What you can do is take your knees, and what you want to do to make sure that you do it slow and easy is point your knees way out over your toes before you start. Now, what I'm going to do from here is catch myself with my hands as I go back. You can catch yourself right on your fist, or you can use your hands like this as you go back into the back bridge position. So from here, I'm going to use my fist. You start going real slow, you pop your hips up, and go straight back into a back bridge position. What we're learning how to do there is get maximum use of the hips. Okay. The first position that we're going to learn to throw from and control is the over underhook position. We'll be working the lateral drop, drop technique. Anytime you're in a tie up situation with your opposition or with someone that you're wrestling against, you want, you want to try to maintain the best position. That means keeping your hips lower than his hips. The one that has his hips in the best position has a best chance of scoring the takedown. One thing that I like to do when I get into this position is take my outside foot and try to get it to the outside of his foot. My inside foot is back. This allows me to, to get lower hip elevation and be in a better position to, to go up underneath him when I start my throw. Now, as far as arm control, I like to control him at the tricep and on his forearm. You're going to control him here and here. So you have his arm locked in two places. You're going to control the other side with an underhook. Okay? Underhook, control him at the tricep and the forearm. The outside leg is up and to the outside of his foot. The inside leg is back. You want to be in the best controlled position. Again, try to keep your hips lower than his. If you ever get yourself in a situation where you start to feel uncomfortable and you feel like he's getting the control, one little technique here that will help you get out of, out of this position and get to a safer position is just to come back here, control this wrist, and pull it down to your waist. Now, this makes it difficult for him to, to start any throwing techniques or to control you. You can control his hand, push it down, and just move away from it. Just take your underhook out on the other side. Okay, as far as starting your throw, anytime you're learning how to throw someone, the first thing you want to do is do it slow. 
Do it slow and use the proper technique. Okay, so we're controlling him at the wrist and the tricep. You want your head to the same side as the overhook arm. That's important. You don't want to start with your head on the side of your underhook. Same side as your overhook arm. Okay, again, your outside foot is to the outside of his. If it ends up even, or just a little bit to the inside, you're still okay. But what we're talking about here is best control and best drawing position. So you try to get it to the outside. My inside foot is gonna be back so that I can keep my hips lower than his and be in a strong position if he starts to throw me. That's one thing you have to keep in mind once you get into this position. We both have the exact same position. So I want to maintain best position and have my hips in the strongest place. Okay, from here, throwing this man, what we're going to do, and if you're working on this with a partner, here's how you work on it. Okay. Right here. Okay. We're going to have my partner hold me up as I go through this throwing motion. This, this foot is up again. Now, as I start to throw, I'm going to step up inside leg. At this point, both feet are pretty much even. Now, the key is to eliminate, eliminate the body space between you and your partner. As I start to go back, I'm going to have Rich step to the side a little bit and hold me up. And what's going to happen is, I'm going to learn how to use my hip, and Rich is going to gradually let me down as I take him across. Okay, control here, here. All right, now I step up. Now I start to get my hips up as Rich holds me up. Right here. Hips up in the air. Eliminate the body space. Start to look back. Here, right now. He lets me down. I take him over. And I roll through. You can work on it that way and, and do it at that exact same speed. That's how you learn the throw. Watch again. Okay, we're in this position. We control him at the wrist. In the tricep. We're not getting locked in by doing this. I think that's somewhat of a no-no. I like to control him here and here, and then go to the underhook. You always want to throw him towards the overhook arm. That's important. Lock this in. This foot steps up. OK, Rich steps to the side a little bit just to hold me up. I'm going to work on my hip elevation and eliminating the body space between Rich and myself. OK, so you're here. And I start to get hip elevation here. Eliminate the body space. Hip elevation. All right now you start to throw. Fifth row as you take him over. Okay. Once you've got that motion down, then you can speed it up a little bit. The key is to when you start to take him across, you're going to be using everything to your advantage. This arm, this underhook, and your hips. That means as you're going down with him, you're going to be pulling this, lifting this side hard, and popping your hips. Okay, so this time we're going to just speed it up just a little bit. And the, the best thing, uh, the best way to do this is to not let your head hit the mat. If you can do it without letting your head hit, that means that you hit a pretty good lateral drop. Every now and then, uh, you can't avoid you know, letting your head hit the mat. So from here. Okay, here we're going to step this back foot up. Here. And drop. The key thing is hip elevation, using this arm and this underhook to take him across. Once you've learned how to, to do that throw, then you're ready for competition. Okay? The key thing is the position that you get into. Okay? A good way to set this thing up it's a push into, into the opposition a little bit. If you can get him to lean back into you and just start to push back, the foot that you have back is the one that comes up, boom, and then you start your throw. That's a good way to set up your lateral drop throw.